Hello, welcome to Kurdish Lessons. This is Gule again, your Kurmanji teacher. And uh, today's video is about three phrasal verbs in Kurmanji, in Kurmanji Kurdish. So these phrasal verbs are used a lot and sometimes it is really hard to understand them because the structure is very different from English or other languages. So that's why I am here to help you. If you are ready, let's go. <laughs> so the first phrasal verb is uh, saying to like something or to like someone. So it's quite complicated in Kurmanji because when you say I like something or someone in Kurmanji, literally you say my pleasure comes to someone or something. It's, it sounds strange, right? So, kef, as you know, it's pleasure. We say kef khosh, happy. And the, the infinitive form, kef al keseki, subject is here. Jutishteki, jkeseki rehaten. So, the person who likes will be here. But of course, it is keseki, it will be in oblique form. So, you will say kefamen, kefate, kefawi, kefawe. So let me write here. So if you want to say I like, you will say kefamen, my pleasure. Kefate, your pleasure, you like. Kefawi, he. Kefawe, she. Kefame, we. Kefawe, you guys, and kefa one. Okay. So here we put subject. So in English, you say I, you, he, she. But in Kurmanji, you say kefamen. Kefa te, kefa we, kefa ba vete, kefa mamoste ye nu, kefa zaro ke wan. Okay? So we learned the subject. And here, between ju and re, we put what we like. And this part also is oblique form. Whenever there is a proposition, after noun follows in oblique form. Okay, so if you want to, I like you, it will be kefamen, jutere, and here the verb. <laughs> so hatten, it means to come. I said, we say my pleasure comes to, ta -ta -ta -ta, literally. So let's have a look at the conjugation of hatten. It's quite irregular. So in present, I stay to teyi. Aute, uh, he, she comes, am hun auten. A negative form as nayem, I don't come. To naye ye, uh, you don't come. Au naye he, she doesn't come. Am hun au nayen, we don't come. So here, with this phrasal verb, our subject is always someone's kef, and kef is singular. Kef That's why we will use this third person singular. Okay, so it means if you want to use this phrasal verb in present and with positive form, te, present negative, na ye. And if you want to use in the past, you will say hat or nahat. Okay, let's have a look at some examples. So, kefamen, so my pleasure, which means I, kefamen. Jutere to you for you te or naye comes uh, like I like or I don't like so here uh, so you know so if if it is a te it is I like you but if it is naye I don't like you okay so ke famen jutere te I like you ke famen jutere naye I don't like you. So instead of te, it can be anything. Ke famen ju kurdirete, I like kurdi. Ke famen ju wirete, I like him. Ke famen ju bajare terete, I like your city. Ke famen ju wan huandekare nurete, I like those new students. So just be careful, ju and re are really important. Ke famen ju. So the second example 
Kefamen Juwiranaya. But here, let's uh, make it Kefa we Juwiranaya to see different uh, pronouns. We will say uh, he because it is Kefa we. He doesn't like her. So Kefa we Juwiranaya. So his pleasure is not coming or doesn't come for her, to her. So he doesn't like her. Kefawi juerenaya. Okay. And the third example. Kefate. Juhandenerate. Kefate. So your pleasure. You. Juhandenerate. Do you like reading? Kefate juhandenerate. Are. Kefamen. Juhandenerate. Yes, I like reading. Are kefamen juhandenerate. Yes, I like reading. Na kefamen juhandenerate. No, I don't like reading. Are kefamen juhandenerate. Na kefamen juhandenerate. So, uh, wait, give me a second. Um, no, 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 no. Here, I want to uh, write it as an answer. So, we will put it here. Oops, here. Yeah. And next example is Kefate, so your pleasure again. Kefate, so you. Kefate, chuma. Why? Jivi bajari re nahat. Kefate chuma jivi bajari re nahat. Why didn't you like this city? Like, what is the reason? Chuma. Kefate chuma jivi bajari re nahat. So it is nahat, past, and negative. Kefate chuma jivi bajari re nahat. Kefate chuma jivi bajari re nahat. Repeat after me. Kefate chuma. Jivi bajari re nahat. Kefate chuma jivi bajari re nahat. Or kefate chuma jivi bajari re hat. Why? Why did you like this city? Okay. And the last example, not last example, wait. <laughs> the next one is kefadiyate. So the pleasure of your mom. So your mom. Kefa diate, jichurete. Kefa diate, jichurete. So here between ju and re, we have our question. So kefa diate, jichurete. What does your mother like? Or kefa te, jichurete. Kefa te, jichurete. So kefa men, jigarerete. I like traveling. Kefamen jihin krinerete, I like teaching. Kefamen juterete, I like you. Okay? Now, last example. Kefawi, jidarse rahat. Kefawi, his pleasure, he. Kefawi, jidarse rahat. Did he like the lesson? Did he enjoy the lesson? So, kefa tetatent, it's to like. And also enjoy. So if I say kefa menji darserahat, so I like, I enjoy the lesson. Okay, kefa we ji darserahat. So if you want to say like I like, I enjoyed something, you can say kefa menji darserahat, kefa menji have di tina merahat. I liked our meeting. Kefa menji gererahat. I liked the traveling, the trip. Okay. So it's our first phrasal verb, and now it is exercise time. Here we go. So it says, Dorateya, your turn, Dorateya. So here, as a reminder, I wrote the conjugation of Hatun for you to have a look at. And here there are three sentences. So I will show you. Uh, it's in English. You will stop the video. And you will try to translate them by yourself. Okay? So don't forget our structure is 
Kefa keseki, here is the subject. Jutushteki, or it can be someone we like. Keseki rehatet, okay? Here. So, kefa keseki, jutushteki re, jukeseki rehatet. Yes, here we go. Ding, ding, ding. So don't forget here it is the subject and here it is what we like, okay? Object. So do you like her hair? So start the video, okay? Have a look at English sentence. Do you like her hair? And translate it and come to video, okay? So let's have a look at the first sentence. So do you like her hair? So if it is do you, it is you, we will say. I will make it bigger. I hate small, small writings. So so you, do you, her hair. How do we say hair? Hair is poor, poor, yeah. poor, hair. And it's a masculine word. So pore ta 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 ta. So ke fa te je pore we re. So as I said here, what we like. So pore we. And the present, do you like? Ke fa te je pore we re. I will use this conjugation present. Ke fa te je pore we re te. Do you like her hair? Are Kefamen je pore were te. Na, kefamen je pore were naye. No, I don't like her hair. Now the second one. Again, okay, close, uh, yeah, like stop the video and do it by yourself and come to check your answers with me, okay? So, did she like the dinner? Mm. So, firstly, it's a past, past uh, tense. It is the past tense, so I will use this conjugation. And it say, did she like? So she, I will say her pleasure, kefa we. Kefa we. And the dinner. Dinner is the what she like or she didn't like. So je, she ve. Oops. So je, she vera. And in the past, hat. Kefa we, jishi we rahat. Are, kefa we jishi we rahat. And na, kefa we jishi we rahat. Okay, the last one. Did they like the books? Did they like the books? It's that one. So it is past again. I will use again here. So did they? So they, so I will say their pleasure. Kefa one. And books is the object. Kefa one, je pertu, oi, oi. Je pertu kan re. Hat. So here books are plural. So I use the plural oblique form. Kefa one, je pertu kan re. Are, kefa one, je pertu kan re. Na, kefa one, je pertu kan re. So it was our first phrase verb. I hope you understood how to use it. Now we will have a look at second phrase. Here we go. So uh, this one is easier than previous one. <laughs> so to start something over. So this expression is used a lot. So when you want to say I start ta -ta 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 over, you say as Dust b and you put your object here and you conjugate current. Let's have a look at the conjugation of current. So in present, the kum nakum, the ki naki, the ke nake, the kun nakun. So with this uh, phrase verbs, so we use our usual pronouns as dust but at the um dust but at the Okay. And in the past, as you know. Say minker, teker, necker, okay? Examples here. So, do kengi desbe darsa diki. Do you, singular one, you, kengi when, 
Test with their sabiki. So when are you start lessons over? So uh, kangi is when. Now I will write other WH questions for you. Oops, is who? Is why? Liku is where? Chawa is how? What does the word Kengi, Chuma, Liku? So I, I, yeah, for now I remember only these five, yeah. I mean, English from when, who, why, where, how. Yeah, so these are very important, Just learn them. Let's have a look at second example. Ew. So ew can be he, she, or they. So in this case, you have a look at verb. So it is nake, it is singular, right? So ew chuma, she or he, why? Despe huandene nake. So Hwanden is reading or studying. So why he or she is not is not starting reading over? Why not? Um, yeah, why he or she is not starting reading? Okay. Aw chuma despe huandene nake. Chuma. So here we learn chuma. Here is chuma. The next example. Te, you, it's past, that's why te. Te des be nvisandana pertuka hoi kir. So nvisandana pertuka hoi, writing of your book. Like, so did you start your writing book? Yeah, did you start writing your book? Okay. Te des be nvisandana pertuka hoi kir. Are, men des be nvisandana pertuka hoi kir. Na men dest be nvisandana pertuka hoi nekir. I didn't start it. <laughs> so for one, so it's one, one, so it's past. One dest be jiana ken nukir. One dest be jiana ken nukir. So jiana ken nu a new life. They started a new life over. One dust bijana can nuka. So you can say as the wasm dust bijana can nuka come as the wasm dust bear giana can nuka come as the wasm dust bijana can nuka come. Okay, and next example is five. As the wasm, ah, that's the karaki didn't become. So I want to start a new work, a new job. As the wasm, that's the karaki didn't become. As the wasm, that's the karaki didn't become. Okay? And it, that's all. I thought there is one more, but no. So now uh, let's do some exercises. So here again, you have the conjugations. And so. Did you start to eat? Mm -hmm. So it's past tense. So we will use this structure, these conjugations. So te, des, bu, and here I will put it. So let's say we, because in Kurmanji we don't have it, right? We have, uh, so everything has a gender in Kurmanji, either masculine or feminine. So bu, okay. Te, des, bu, Did you start it? And I will show you something else. So, you know, in uh, Kurmanji, we have many short forms. We don't really use long words or I don't know, like, yeah, we like to do everything shorter. So, Bwe in Kurmanji comes, becomes Pe. So, we can say, Tadest Pe Kir. Did you start at it? Tadest peker. So I, I'm sure you saw tadest peker before or you heard it. So it comes from bwe or bwe. Okay. Tadest peker. Did you start it? Now the second one. When did you start? Uh, when did you start reading this book? 
when did you start reading this book? So it is again in the past. So you, te, kengi is when, it's very big. Te kengi, this book and the object is here. And correct, it's past. So te kengi, this book, khwendina ve pertuke ker. Te kengi des pe khwendina ve pertuke ker. When did you start reading this book? Te kengi des pe khwendina ve pertuke ker. Te kengi des pe khwendina ve pertuke ker. And the last one, I don't know when to start. I don't know when to start. So I don't know, I'm sure you know. <laughs> As nizanim, when to start. Kengi des pe bikap. So you see, we use des bu tatatant when it is the real object, like start at a new work, a new life, starting reading, working. But if it is just to start, eat, like des pe bikap. Okay? As nizanim, kengi des pe bikap. I don't know when to start. As nizanim, kengi des pe bikap. So it was our second phrase, phrase of the word. And the last one is, it is quite hard. <laughs> Not really hard, but I, I'm sure you, uh, you use the, I mean, Americans or British people use the same structure. So in Kurmanji, to say, to remember something, you basically say something is coming someone's mind, okay? So you start with the object, what is coming. And you use the verb coming and then someone's memory. Again, here is the Hatton, as time to te aute, as to out in the past. And here there are two useful phrases. So na ye biraman, I don't remember. So here we have a secret au. Au na ye biraman, like he or she or it is not coming to my mind, so I don't remember it. And here, ten bi ramen, so secret au. I remember it is coming to my mind. Au te bi ramen, but we don't really pronounce au when we speak. We say te bi ramen, na ye bi ramen, because, because of the verb, I know it is uh, the it, right? Au. So te bi ramen, na ye bi ramen. So I said, uh, we say something is coming to someone's mind. Let's have a look at examples. So, Nave We, her name, Nave We, Te is coming. Bira min, my mind, my memory. So, Bir is memory. Bir, Bir, okay, memory. All right, so, Nave We, Te Bira min. I remember her name. Literally, her name is coming my mind. The second one, Malawan, so their house, Malawan, Na ye is not coming. Birame, our mind, our memory. So we don't remember their house. Malawan, Na ye birame, we don't remember their house. Okay? The next one, Aurosh, Ten Birawe, it's not a question, pardon. Aurosh ten birawe. So here ten. So ten is plural. So it means what comes are uh, what comes is something plural. So auroj. So auroj can be that day or those days. But for verb, I mean I understood from the verb that it's plural. So those days are coming her memory. So she remembers those days. Aurosh ten birawe. Tu hati biramen. So you so here I said tishtek, but it can be someone, right? We can remember someone as well. So tishtek or kesek hatin bira kesek to remember something or someone. Okay. 
So to so you came my mind to hati bi ramen. You came my mind to hati bi ramen. The next one. Au, she or he, nahat didn't come my mind. So I didn't remember him or her. Au nahat bi ramen. Au nahat bi ramen. Okay. The next one. Nam ye birata. Don't you remember it, her or him? Because here na ye, it's for third person, singular, he, she, or it, right? Na ye birata. So, of course, this kind of sentences, the context is very important. If I am speaking about our old teacher, I said Dilan, and so we talked about Dilan, ta -ta 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 -ta, and then I say, na ye biraman. So I don't remember her. I'm referring to her, right? And the last one is Neviskare Vapor Tuke. The writer of this book, Neviskare Vapor Tuke, Ten Birate. Do you remember? Neviskare Vapor Tuke, Ten Birate. Do you remember the writer of this book? Are Neviskare Vapor Tuke, Te Biraman? Na. Neviskare ve pertuke na ye biramen. I don't remember. So take uh, keep in mind now ex uh, exercise type. Again, hatten is here, and don't forget we say tishtek or kesek hatten bira keseki like someone comes to someone's mind, something or someone comes to someone's mind. So again, uh, stop the video and do it by yourself, okay? So I remember everything. So everything in Kurmanji is her tisht. Her tisht. Now we need to say everything is coming, right? So her tisht is something singular. Te, her tisht te, and I remember. So bira min. Her tisht te bira min, okay? I remember everything. Hatish Tevi Raman. The second one. Do you remember me? Do you remember me? So I will say, am I coming to your mind? Do you remember me? Right? Am I coming to your mind? So as, it's second one. As, and I am coming. So as tem, as tem birata. Do you remember me? As birate. For example, you met uh, one of your old friends. He said, As birate. Do you remember me? As tembir, as gule, as birate. <laughs> and uh, the third, uh, the third one. Did you remember me? So same sentence, but in the past. So we say as hatem birate. What? As it is third one. As hatam birat. Are tu hati biraman? Na hati biraman. I will write the answers. Wait. Are yes, you came to my mind. I remember you. Tu hati biraman. Na tu nahati biraman. Mm -hmm. Char, I didn't remember you. I didn't remember you. So we'll say you didn't come to my mind, right? So you didn't come to Nahati. To Nahati, I don't remember. I didn't remember. So like my memory, be uh, ramen. To Nahati Biram. I don't I didn't remember you. To Nahati Biram. And the last one, she doesn't remember her family. So we will say her family is not coming or her family doesn't come to her mind. So Malbatawe Naye Birawe. Malbatawe Naye Birawe. Right? Oops, a little bit up. So malbatawe naye birawe. 
So these three phrasal verbs are really important. You have to learn them by heart and use them as native speakers use <laughs> so all the time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. So get legs pass. Thank you very much. Goodbye. And if you want to support me, if you want me to create more content, you can support me on Patreon because it helps me to make my life. <laughs> so if you uh, want to support, go to Patreon and write Kurdish lessons. You will find me there. If not, there should be a link in my YouTube profile. Okay. Thank you so much. Have a perfect week. And today is the last day of the summer, Roja Dawi Yahavine. I am very happy because these hits are ending. It's yeah, end of heat. Mala Hodeava, finally. So get legs fast. Oh, video